Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your next cloud to connect to your Windows machine. So the first thing we're going to do is log into Nextcloud, and I'm going to log into the Nextcloud server, which you log into plus control panel. So you want to log in to your Nextcloud instance. And I have my Nextcloud instance installed on cloud.rootpalnextcloud.com, but I can also access it by clicking the Nextcloud button and I can get an overview of what's going on. And I see there is an update and I'm not gonna update the version right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. And so what you can do is you can click these icons to download the client. So I'm gonna click the Windows icon and it's gonna install and show me the page for downloading the desktop version. So I'm gonna click Windows 8.1 Plus. And this is what it's gonna look like in your taskbar. So it's gonna have all the activity, all the files and everything. And so we're gonna open up the installer, click next, and just click next and click install. And then it's gonna ask you to verify it um, and allow it. Microsoft's gonna ask that. So that's just gonna, it takes a second to pop up. Come on. There we go. Click yes. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and log in to my Nextcloud instance. And I'm gonna just log in using this button right here. It has finished. I'm gonna click launch Nextcloud. It's gonna ask me to restart my computer. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'll restart it later. So I'm gonna click no. And now I'm logged into my Nextcloud instance. And now that it has been installed, you'll get an icon right here that says Nextcloud. I think you can also see it down here, and it's this icon, icon right here. So let's go ahead and open up the Nextcloud app. And when it, you open it up, it's gonna give you this screen, and we're gonna click Log into your Nextcloud. So now we need to type in the link which the link is going to be cloud.rootpalnextcloud.com. So I'm just gonna copy it and just click next. It's gonna open up this uh, connection thing, which is really cool. Um, you're just gonna click login and you're gonna click grant access. And now it's gonna show account connected. And you can now close the window and now it's gonna say, connect everything. And it's gonna say, use virtual files instead of downloading content immediately. I recommend this so it doesn't store the files actually on your, um, your PC. So if you upload files, you, let's say you have a ton of data in your next cloud and you want to, um, you have a ton of data in your next cloud and you want to keep it online, but you don't want to, you also want to have it on your desktop, but you don't want it taking up space. This is what this does. However, if you want to synchronize everything, um, you can do that as well. You can have it on your desktop and on the next cloud server. I prefer to do this cause I I'd rather it just be on the next cloud, um, and just have the virtual files. So this is a little bit better because it saves disk space for your computer. You can also choose what to sync and select specific files that you'd like to sync onto your desktop um, instead of choosing like, you know, using the virtual files. So you can, you could be selective, which is really cool, but I'm just gonna use the virtual one and I'm gonna click connect. It's gonna start syncing everything. And what's cool is it actually syncs everything. You get the activity, you get the talk, all of that stuff is synced. 
and you have all these little cool i mean if you open it from here i think it just opens up the browser yeah so it just opens up the browser but still um it has everything synced all the messages the events you could all search it right here so it's super powerful really great um to have this and then so we're going to open up the folder uh on the desktop that it exists in and here you could see the folder of um what's in the, my next cloud so if i actually go to my next cloud and if i want to drop a file in there like this file i'm gonna go to files I'm going to drop a file in there. I'm open the file up. And there we go. So it's in my Nextcloud server now. And if I go to my Nextcloud, open up the folder, you're actually going to see the file sync. So if we push refresh, um, photos. There it is. So it's synced. It downloaded it as a virtual file. Um, and now I can access it. So availability status available when online, which is when this thing is running, it's available on my desktop, which is awesome because now I can access my cloud files um, on my desktop and vice versa. I can also put things in that folder and they'll sync automatically to uh, next cloud and I'll show you what I mean by that so if I open up this folder and I want to drag a file in there so let's drag I drag this Instagram analytics JavaScript file don't know really what that is but it's a small file and we just give it a few seconds to sync. Um, it should pop up here. I think I might have to refresh the page though. So let's just refresh the page. And there it is. And there is the file. That's awesome. So now it's synced vice versa and you're good to go. So now when you start your computer, everything will be synced. You can back up everything um, to your next cloud server. Um, and so if you, let's say you want to remove this device or let's say you have employees that you add and users that you add that you connect all your employees to the next cloud server, right? You have your business going, you have your employees, they all have it synced. If you go to settings, and you go to security, for you at least, you can actually see it right here. So this is the desktop and the name of the desktop. And I can click this and I can revoke access, which won't let it connect, or I can wipe the device remotely so I can wipe the data, which is awesome. You can take away the data, um, you know, if you're firing an employee or something, hopefully not, but you know, things happen. So you can revoke the access and wipe the data remotely. Um, which is cool. And you can do that for other users as well. So if we go to security, um, I think you have to go to the employee and then you can wipe the data. So if we went to like, um, we went to users and we clicked on a user, you'd be able to wipe the data from here. So wipe all devices. So if you had a user, you'd, you'd see it right here. You could just wipe all devices and that should do it as well. Um, and that will remove all the data. So that's how you do it. That's how you sync your Nextcloud server to your Windows desktop. I'll be doing a video on the mobile as well, but thank you. And if you do need a Nextcloud server, you're interested in Nextcloud, go ahead and check out RootPal 
as we have a awesome Nextcloud server solution, very cheap, dedicated resources with a lot of storage space, more than a lot of other companies offer. So a lot of other companies will require you to have a, a server or a virtual server and it, it gets a little costly when you start adding resources. However, we have some great plans here. And if you're looking for a custom plan of a lot of resources, um, you can also uh, contact us directly, um, email sales at rootpal.com and we can work something out to get your next cloud server for you or your business. And we also have a bunch of other tutorials as well. Thank you and hope to see you soon.